What's up everybody? Welcome to the first lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushri and today I'm going to teach you digital image processing. Now if you're new to our channel, I'm not going to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button, alright? Just do so if you understand the concept. So let's get started. Now we have an X and Y coordinate system here. And suppose we draw an image. Okay, which kind of looks like an apple. Now we will draw the darker regions of this image with black okay, and the lighter regions with blue. Let's also write down the numbers here. Now I'm saying that this image can be represented as a function of x and y. How is that? Now if we look at these points, okay, if we look at these points, then each of these points have certain intensity, okay. If you look at f of 0, 0, it doesn't have any intensity, it doesn't have any value, so it's 0. But if you look at this point, f of 2, 2, it has a high intensity. Why? Because that at that point we have a black color. Similarly, if you look at this point, f of 3, 2, it has a lesser value. Why? Because it is represented with blue color, which is lighter shade. Okay, so each of these points have certain intensity values. Okay, so if we want to represent this image, then it can be done with the help of a matrix. So suppose we write f of x comma y is equal to f of 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and so on. f of 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, and so on. 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, and so on. So in this way, this image can be represented with the help of this matrix where each of these matrix values have certain intensities okay and in what range will they have these intensities it will be in the range of 0 to 255 if this is an 8-bit grayscale image okay so that's it for the representation part move on to the definitions what is a digital image a digital image is an image composed of picture elements also known as pixels each with finite discrete quantities of numeric representation for its intensity or gray level that is an output from its 2d functions fed as input by its spatial coordinates denoted by x and y on the x-axis and y-axis respectively so exactly what i explained to you with the help of this image this image can be represented as a function of f of x and y, where x and y are the spatial coordinates. Okay, The amplitude of the f is called intensity or gray level at the point x, y. Now, this term gray level is very important and it is mainly used for image classification. All right. Digital image processing. It is the use of computer to process images with the help of an algorithm. Easy, right? So based on different applications, we have divided this entire procedure into different levels. Suppose our application is noise removal or image sharpening. Then that is when we use low level processes because here the inputs and outputs both are images. Suppose our application is object recognition or segmentation. So in that case, we need certain attributes of the input image and that is why we use mid-level processes because here the outputs are attributes extracted from input images. If our application is seen understanding or autonomous navigation, then that is where we use high-level processes because here an ensemble of recognition of individual objects is used. Okay, so now what is a pixel? It is the smallest building block of a picture represented on the screen. You remember this image which we had? So here, each of these points is a pixel. 
okay it is the building block of an image with the help of these pixels this entire image can be created and these pixels have certain intensity values if we have an 8-bit grayscale image then these values range from 0 to 255 where 0 will represent lesser intensity or 0 value and 255 will represent highest intensity okay those were the definitions now we will move on to a simple image formation model okay so we know that any object in the real world can be expressed with the help of a 2d image so for an image to be produced there should be a light source illuminating the object right when we have a light source that is when we'll be able to see the object so when an image is generated from a physical process its values are proportional to the energy radiated by a physical source right so these are some things which we know and also the intensity or amplitude of f at spatial coordinates is a positive scalar quantity whose physical meaning is determined by the source of the image so based on the above points we can say that the function must be non-zero and finite which means that it should lie between zero and infinity now the two factors which affect the formation of an image are the amount of source illumination incident on the scene and the amount of illumination reflected by the objects in the scene okay so these illumination and reflectance components can be denoted by i of x comma y and r of x comma y respectively so these two functions combine to form f of x comma y where f of x comma y is equal to i into x comma y into r into x comma y so we can write this equation again where f represents the intensity at the point x comma y i represents the illumination at the point x comma y and r represents the reflectance or transmissivity at the point x comma y okay now reflectance is bounded by 0 and 1 why because 0 represents total absorption and 1 represents total reflectance but that is not the case with illumination at the point x comma y okay so that is why it is bounded by 0 and infinity the nature of i of x comma y is determined by the illumination source whereas the nature of r of x comma y is determined by the characteristics of the imaged objects okay so that was it with the simple image formation model